Well, we have an update on the Kansas City Royals stadium saga. We got the announcement about a month ago of the two potential projects located in different areas. One right in downtown KC, the other up a little bit in North KC. I like the North KC Stadium renderings a little bit better personally. Both of them are decent, uh, but we do have an update here. The The announcement was supposed to come on the decision right around now, towards the end of September. Well, apparently that's not happening. Kansas City Royals won't select a new stadium site by the end of September as previously announced in a press release from the MLB Ball Club on Wednesday. The team said it would not have a site selected by the end of the month. The Royals did not provide an exact time frame for when they would make the decision. The team has narrowed down its future stadium to two proposals, each approximately $2 billion ballpark districts that will not only build a new home for the Royals, but also create new restaurants, hotels, and stores. Does this not remind you of the Jacksonville Jaguars situation? They've got basically the same thing. They're trying to build a $2 billion district as well. And the reason I'm guessing this is delayed, it's mainly due to money. Uh, They really haven't said anything in terms of how much is the public going to pay for it, how much is private going to pay for it. Jackson County executive and former Royals player Frank White has been accused of holding up the decision-making process. The chair of the Jackson County Sports Complex Authority told KMBC, The county is not holding up negotiations. The team was complimentary in its statement on both prospective counties that are courting the proposed ballpark district. Quote, we've been encouraged by the engagement of the leaders in Jackson County and Clay County with recent meetings furthering our progress in a meaningful way, according to the Royals. The team did say that it planned to provide clarity to local leaders and the Chiefs who currently share the lease of the Truman Sports Complex with the Royals in enough time for the public to be fully informed for a vote on a proposal in April. It remains unclear exactly how a stadium in either county would be funded, an extension of the current 3 8 cent tax funding renovations on Kauffman Stadium could be Uh, possible in Jackson County. So there you have it. They haven't said anything in terms of who's going to be paying for this. I'm guessing it's going to be a proposal similar to the Jaguars. Maybe it's a 50-50 split uh, with the Royals paying for half and the public paying for the other half. Maybe they bring that three-eighths cent tax uh, that paid for the Kauffman Stadium renovations back into this. It is interesting, the Truman Sports Complex lease. I expect the Chiefs to fully take that over and... I think you can see it from a mile away what the Chiefs are going to do with that entire area. They're probably going to turn it into a stadium district. I mean, the Royals are trying to get their own stadium district, but with the Chiefs, it just makes way more sense. The demand for Chiefs football right now, this project is supposed to be completed right around 2027 is when they want to move into their new ballpark. So the timeline, it looks like before April of 2024, kind of annoying that they don't have one chosen here, but I would imagine this is all negotiation. They want leverage. They want both of the counties to give them a better deal, and they do not view either deal probably at this point worth taking and actually bringing to the public. This is all about money here, in my opinion. And then this is what the Royals said on the topic and why they delayed it. Uh, Quote, we've been encouraged by the engagement of leaders in Jackson County and Clay County in recent meetings furthering our progress in a meaningful way. Leaders in both counties know a critical piece of evaluation process will be negotiated lease terms so that the Royals, our future partner, and most importantly, the voters can know what to expect. With the framework of our current lease and willing partners on all sides, we are optimistic that the process will result in a win-win for the Royals and our next home. Although we will not have a site selected by the end of September, we are more confident than ever that a world-class... Okay, blah, blah, blah. So so there is that uh, pretty meaningless quote overall. They're not going to come out and say publicly, hey, we're not happy with the negotiation, so we have to you know, suspend it or whatever. Uh, Either way, they want to get the best deal possible, I'm sure. Leaders in both Jackson County and Clay County know that we and the Chiefs need clarity on our stadium plans in time for the public to be fully informed. And for a timeline on this project, I'm guessing something will come out during the offseason, maybe in January of 2024. 
on the site that they select. Uh, again, they're down to two different sites. They have renderings for both of them. I did a video when it was announced again, about a month ago, I would say that they were down to two and they were deciding at the end of September. And the one that's actually north of Kansas City is my preferred stadium. Not that it matters too much. They're going to take whatever, you know, they can get in terms of the best deal. Uh, but that would be my preferred location. Two billion dollars is no joke when it comes to I mean, funding that for Kansas City, you know, that's not a crazy big city by any means. So $2 billion, I guess it just depends on the actual numbers when it comes to public versus private in terms of that. But we've seen several of these stadium deals get announced and then get bogged down. You almost have to wonder what's going to be happening with the Tampa Bay Rays potential stadium deal. They want the public to pay about $600 million dollars for their brand new stadium. And they're also going to have a stadium district that's around $6 billion, although that's not included in the package. This is this idea and this proposal that the Royals have, again, is very similar to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And even theirs got bogged down at this point with around 6% of public support paying 50-50. Uh, but that is just the update on the Kansas City Royals' current situation. And then the question get, gets asked, when the Royals leave, I have done a video on possibly Arrowhead Stadium getting a renovation. I certainly think the second the Royals are out of the Truman Sports Complex, you're going to get a complete redevelopment of that entire area, and it's going to be a full football-only district. You're not going to need nearly as much parking, so you can take out a ton of those spots. Obviously, the stadium will get knocked down, and that's going to give you a lot more room as well. And then you're possibly looking at putting in an entire district. There's the idea, would they add a roof to it? I don't think they're going to add a roof to it, but I do think they are going to spruce up Arrowhead. And they've kind of gotten lucky, the Chiefs have, to where Arrowhead's been grandfathered in as one of like the legendary stadiums in the NFL. So even though it was built you know, in the 1970s, it's known as still one of the best stadiums. They really don't need to redesign it or do anything like that. Certainly, you could fix up the interior. You could add some social spaces. But I think most of the investment when it comes to the Chiefs and once the Royals do move out, and I still expect them to, although this project, there's still a lot up in the air when it comes to who they pick, you know, how is this going to be paid for? But let's just say it happens and they're out by 2027. I'm guessing the the Chiefs will probably already have the redevelopment plan announced before then uh, because they're going to be given so much more room with the Chiefs officially gone into their new ballpark, either in North Kansas City or smack dab in the middle in the center of KC around a $2 billion project. This stadium itself is probably only... I would say like $1.2 billion would be the cost of the Royal Stadium, maybe even less than that. You have to factor in, it's not a retractable roof, which I think is great. You know, the fact that all these stadiums going up, they're all retractable, they're all domes. Uh, you know, Kansas City is a climate where you can get away with, you know, building an open ballpark. If they were, were to have a retractable roof on it, the cost of this project would probably be $2.5, $2.6 billion total. That's another thing I guess you could say about this project. Uh, it's getting more and more rare to see stadiums be built fully open. So this is definitely a good thing. And you'll even get people complain about Kansas City and the climate in the summer possibly being too hot. This year, certainly it's been really hot. But just in general, Kansas City is a place where we do need to have open stadiums, you know. Because the weather's not crazy hot. Obviously, it's not cold. Um, except maybe early April, it can get a little cold. But either way, guys, that is the update. We were expecting a decision here, a ballpark that was going to be announced. And of course, uh, they're delaying it. They're trying, you know, probably a negotiation tactic. At least that's what I think is going on here. Either way, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.